Hi everybody, we're gonna do a Q&A. We're gonna talk about how to style a large patterned jacket uh, in these sorts of colors. So like dark gray with a little bit of brown and with a little bit of navy in it. All right, um, this is one that's in our fall winter collection, uh, but you know, you can find other cloths that are similar to this out there. And so hopefully this video can serve as a guide for how you might style these sorts of things. So let's have a close look at the fabric. Um, as you can see, it's definitely, first thought is obviously that it's gray, but actually there's quite a bit of brown in there. It's actually quite a, it's a very warm sort of gray. And then you can also see that the scale of the pattern is very large. Right? It's a Prince of Wales with also a navy overcheck on top of it as well. Now, you know, these sorts of large patterns, especially in winter weight fabrics where the cloth is a little bit woolier, a little bit fuzzier, they work really well as casual tailoring. Um, so they go really well with denim, they go really well with like knitwear that has a little bit more texture to it. And then, you know, you would finish it up with like an Oxford shirt just because it has a little bit more texture to it as well. And then like loafers like these, which have a grain to them, are also a great match. So let's look at some outfits and let's do some styling. Um, before we get to the casual stuff, why don't we start with something that's just a little bit more dressy, um, because after all, a sport coat always does look great with trousers and with a necktie and so on. Um, so let's try it with this. Charcoal single pleated trousers. And see, this is why like you need to have charcoal. Um, you need to have some contrast between the jacket and the trousers. So charcoal makes a lot of sense here you know, just for your amusement, because I had this lying around. When you're dealing with a large pattern jacket, you kind of want the other stuff to have a different scale of pattern. This has almost the exact same scale of pattern. And when you put it together, it just looks kind of nuts. Um, I would not recommend styling it this way. I just thought it would be amusing to see it together. All right. This on the other hand would be great with like a plain colored um, garment. Now let's have a look at this. It's nice like this, so with a polo shirt in navy, so that navy is picking up the navy check, and then with the gray trousers, um, you know, it's obviously looking a little bit heavy in terms of color, so you could add this, uh, which is just an ecru pocket square with a little bit of red, like a little bit of an unexpected color in there. In terms of shoes, I would recommend this. Black tassel loafers would look good. You know, there's so much texture, like the tassel is really helpful for just adding a little bit more interest and adding balance to the whole thing. Or you can also do dark brown suede. Everybody's favorite. Cool. All right, let's look at one more thing. Um, you know, we talked about shirts with this outfit as well. And I thought it'd be a nice time to pull out our 100 Hands. Um, 100 Hands is a, is a brand that we do now for um, custom shirts. And you know what, in their bunch book, for instance, for the plain colors, they have a huge section of ecrus. And with these sorts of colors, ecru would look really great. Like white is fine, it's a, a little stark, but it looks great also. But ecru for me is like the really sophisticated choice. And like that is, if I can just get under there, that is what the ecru would look like against that gray, brown, and navy. And you know, you could add a necktie to that. So imagine that as an ecru shirt, with a nice fun tie like that. That would be pretty great. So if you're looking for ecru, uh, 100 hands, I have to say, for custom shirts is not a bad place to start. All right, let's move on. Let's say you don't want to wear a wool trouser. You want to wear something a little more casual. Uh, ba -ba get that out of the way. Whoop. Let's have a look at this, if I can reach it. Just because this one I particularly like because it's just the right match to this jacket. So this season we did this chino, which you're like, ah, okay, it's a chino, whatever. But what's interesting about this chino is that it's a wool cotton mix. It's really crisp and quite dense and hard. And actually it is, it was meant to be trench coat fabric. We saw this fabric um, last year and we just thought it was such a nice shade and such a nice handle 
that it would actually be better as a trouser than anything else. And you can really see like how well that color is sitting together with this one, right? Um, in terms of shirting, I mean that ecru from earlier obviously would look great, but I like this. This is a cotton wool mix. By 100 hands, button down collar. I really like the idea of that together. Like that. In terms of an additional layer, um, I like our sleeveless cardigans. And maybe I would keep it more simple. So I would add the navy sleeveless cardigan in there, as so. So you have this lovely, like, different tone on tone blues going on in the outfit, right? You've got the light blue from the cotton wool shirt, and then you've got the darker blue uh, in the merino sleeveless cardigan, and then you have the navy overcheck. And then how do you tie this all together? Well, in terms of neckties, could do brown. Brown would stick out a little bit in a good way, that would be a nice accent. And also it just echoes into the trouser quite nicely. Or you could do navy knitted with a spot, which I really like as well. In fact, like, because the spot is so white, it sticks out in a really beautiful way. For pocket square, um, I actually like the idea of using this, like a Drake's pocket square in the old Kalim patterns. And again, like something that's a little unexpected. You know, you've got those chunky geometric patterns, but with colors that you wouldn't expect. Like you got those little four, uh, those kind of petrol sorts of greens and egg yolks in there. And then for shoes, um, bah, 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 I would go with probably the brown suede is the best choice. I like that the best. Yeah. Oh, and uh, you know, a reader was, uh, a viewer was like, hey, what do you suggest for hats? Um, I'm really into these. These are our watch caps. We make them in Japan and they are 100% cashmere and they are very warm. Um, they are actually quite compact, like they're quite short on the head. So you don't feel like there's this whole thing sticking up over your head. And I think the gray with all this would look quite nice. Especially actually you know, that. With the brown tie. All right, cool, cool. Now let's look at the denim options. Cause I think that is kind of what people would be really into right now. Certainly like I find myself wearing this, um, this sport coat more with denim than with anything else. I really like it that way. So let's grab the denim out first. We'll use the Nigel Caborn once. The Nigel Caborn, this is actually the same as this. Um, so mine started this color but I have washed it so many times, it's really faded to this nice blue. It's a good jean though. It's like medium rise, a little bit tapered, not too tapered in the leg. I do wish I could preserve this color, but it's, it's tough. I guess you know, I was just getting another pair. So there's the dark denim, which is sitting really well, really great contrast with that gray base. And then, um, 100 Hands has this great selvage denim shirt. In fact, you can see the selvage, where'd it go? You can see the selvage there. They actually leave the selvage on the panel of the shirt. So you've got kind of that cowboy look of denim on denim, but two different shades of blue. And this is a little bit uh, this, is a little, this color is a little bit greener than that last cotton wool I showed you. Um, I really like it though. Like it's, it's a little brighter, it's a little nicer. Uh, I always come back to the sleeveless waistcoats for outfits, especially in the winter, just cause like they're a really, they, you don't overheat in them. Um, and they're a great way to add a little bit of color when you're layering. So camel, for instance, I think it's great. Right, so you got denim blue, camel, denim, and the denim stitch is actually even echoing the camel a little bit, which I think is kind of a nice touch. Or, this is a little bit more of an unusual color, but I really like it too, silver, like really pale gray, like that. 
I think both those look pretty good. Um, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed getting back into wearing neckties. So I am going to show you that carrot one from earlier. I really like it. So let's pull that out again. Like whenever I wear ties casually, I tend to avoid, unless they're like very um, kind of fun prints, I tend to avoid prints. And I tend to go for jacquards like this. So what jacquard means is that the design itself is woven into the tie, not printed onto the tie. Um, I tend to go for jacquards or I tend to go for knits. So this is fun. Like Drake's tie with the carrots on it. And then maybe a navy watch cap as well. Shoe wise, I think it's a great opportunity to use something like this, the um, Moonstar Sloth Boots. This we only sell, unfortunately, in our Hong Kong store, um, but they are also available in other places online. And then uh, I actually think that for the pocket square, rather than go too crazy, just solid navy for the pocket square. Let's see if I can get that in. Like that. You know, I know some Chinese people won't like this so much. Um, we also do the watch cap in olive, and I really, really like the olive. But I think if you were cruising around in Hong Kong or mainland China, it might be a bit of an odd color to wear. Um, it's kind of a long story, but if anyone wants to know why that is, feel free to ask your nearest Chinese friend, especially if they speak Cantonese, and they can probably explain it to you with kind of a wry smile on their face. Alrighty, so, uh, those are a couple ideas for you on how you might style large patterned dark gray jacket like this. Um, if you have any ideas, I would love to hear from you. And uh, thank you for watching.